I was a little bit skeptical, I was thinking like, are we going or are we not going? I even didn't tell people because I thought maybe it might be postponed and then it can be a little bit like embarrassing. <laughs> everybody how are you doing my name is Diana and welcome to my youtube channel first of all I want to say thank you to everybody who is supporting my channel by subscribing by commenting by liking by watching my videos I just want to say thank you very much I appreciate you guys very much if you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and also like this video it helps a lot in this video i want to talk about how i came to germany so i'll be telling you guys when i came to germany what was i doing here in germany the organization that brought me here in germany and also i'm going to tell you the whole process of me coming to germany from the application period until the day that i came here in germany so i hope it's going to be interesting for you let's get started i came to germany on september 2018 but before that i had to go through a very long process before coming to germany so i came to germany through a volunteer program i think many of you are aware of these volunteer programs there is one called fsj and another one is called bfd and me i came through this volunteer program called bfd which means Bundes Freiwillige Dienst. This is a program where you come to Germany and you volunteer for one year and then you go back home. So the first time that I saw this post, I remember I was at home. I saw it through Facebook. That's the first time I saw it through Facebook. And there was this organization which was working with Germans. Like there were two organizations. So there was an organization here in Germany who were bringing Germans to Tanzania. There was an organization in Tanzania, they worked together, an organization in Tanzania, who brought Tanzanians here in Germany. So I saw that post in that organization, like the page of that organization. And the first time I saw it, I was like, mm, no, I don't think if it's true. So the first time I saw it, I was a little bit skeptical because in Tanzania, to be honest, in Tanzania, Whenever there's an opportunity of somebody coming to abroad, maybe Europe or America, usually people give that opportunity to their closed ones. So if you have a good connection with somebody who knows those kind of opportunities, that's when you're going to get them. So for me, when I saw that post, I was like, I was a bit skeptical because I thought, oh, maybe this organization is going to give to their relatives or to their friends, the people that they know, and, and there'll be no chance for me to get it so the first time i saw it i was like mm, no i'm not gonna apply it is very risky because they were looking for very few people and uh, those kind of opportunities they don't come that often so i was like mm, i'm just wasting my time so i ignored it the second time i saw this post was through a whatsapp group i remember it was sent in my university whatsapp group so before i came to germany i was i had finished my university and i was looking for a job so we had this whatsapp group where people could send job opportunities and one of the members sent that post of coming here to germany so when i saw it i was like ah oh, okay it might not be true i ignored it again and the third time a friend of mine sent me the post so when my friend sent me the post i was like Can then apply this try your best you know you never know maybe you might get the opportunity i decided to apply i was like you know what there's nothing to lose let me just apply so i wrote my letter i wrote my cv and i sent it so after that i completely forgot about it because to be honest at that time i was applying to many places many organizations any, any kind of opportunity that i see i was applying to it and i was not getting any kind of response like it was a real struggle so when i applied for that post i completely forgot about it and also i was not paying so much attention because i knew like i'm not gonna get it like i really i was not that positive about this position i continued applying for other posts so after like two months i got a phone call from that organization so i'm going to share with you guys which organization brought me here in germany at the end of the video so don't go anywhere so that organization 
called me and told me that they invited me to an interview. I was very happy when I heard that because to be honest, I completely forgot about it. Like two months, a lot can happen in between. So I told them like, I can come for an interview. So after two weeks, I went for the interview. When I arrived at the interview, oh my God, there was like 15 people there. And they told us that that's just the first batch. There is another batch coming the next day. To be honest, I started getting nervous. Like, okay, am I really going to get this opportunity or what? Like, I was really skeptical. But I told myself, you know what? I'm just going to try my best. So we did the interview. And to be honest, the people who came for an interview, many of them, like they had the qualities. There was a girl who I was talking to, her sister had already come here in Germany for the volunteer program. So she has all the information and she was telling us about Berlin, I don't know, Frankfurt, Munich. We're like, oh my God, there's those cities? You've ever been there? I was like, no, I've never been there. I just heard about them, they're really nice. Oh my God, I was, to be honest, I was very nervous. Like I didn't know anything about Germany and I was like, Oh my god what am i doing here but i told myself you know what let, let me just give my best so my time reached and i went to the interview room to be honest when i arrived inside the interview room it was like a superpower intact inside me and i gained so much energy and i was like talking to those people there were like five people interviewing me so i was like talking to them telling them everything what i did in my life i was telling them all my strength oh, oh my god all the all the tricks and tips about interviewing i was putting them down 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 like oh, i was so energized i was like i'm gonna get this position i am going to get this position i was really determined so after the interview i left i was like you know what i did my best I'm not going to put so much energy on it. So I just prayed and told God, if this is something that you really planned for me, I hope I'm going to get it. After the interview, I went back home and continued with my life. So I totally forgot about the interview. I totally forgot about that post because, you know, in Tanzania, whenever you go to an interview and when you didn't get the post, they usually don't call you to tell you that, you know what, so sorry, we didn't give you the post. No, they just tell us, from the beginning that we are going to call the people who we think are right for this position so for me i completely forgot about it and at some point i thought maybe i didn't get it so i continued in my life i even got another interview and i started a job in another company and life was going on very smoothly so after like two months of me working in another organization and i had totally forgot about the germany post I got a phone call like somebody called me and was like hey Diana you came for an interview here about a Germany exchange program we want to tell you that you got the position oh my god I was so happy like to be I was really happy like people were looking at me like why are you screaming what's happening I called my mom right away shared with her the good news and she was very happy for me and to be honest I was very happy because coming to abroad was one of my longest dreams ever like i was every day thinking about how can i come to abroad like, i didn't care which kind of country but i just wanted to be in abroad so after that they the organization told me that they're going to tell me what comes next so i should just stay in touch so after that i continued with my work for like one month no for like two months i continued my normal work for two months after two months i had to resign from the job that i was doing because i had to start my german course so i resigned my work and then after that i started doing german course so the organization was paying for everything i started my german course and we we were doing it for like i think we did it for like 12 weeks like a one we did it for for 12 weeks and then after that, they told us that you have to do A2 because our German was still not that good. We did A2 for like another six weeks. So after that, we just did the first part of A2. That's why it was just six weeks. So after that, we had to start the process of the passport. So at that point, I didn't have any kind of passport. So I had to apply for a passport after that we had to do a seminar so they were teaching us like how life is here in germany what to expect everything about 
life in German, like homesickness, the challenges that you're going to face, like everything. They told us everything. And also they told us that what we are going to do here in Germany. After the seminar, we had to start our visa application process. So we had to get our documents ready and also we got our flight ticket. Like when I received my flight ticket, I was so happy. Now it became really true to me that I am coming to Germany because at first I was a little bit skeptical. I was thinking like, are we going or are we not going? I even didn't tell people because I thought maybe it might be postponed and then it can be a little bit like embarrassing so i was i didn't tell anybody and i also forgot to tell you guys that in this program we were choosing five people and we were like three girls no two girls and three boys so it was really fun to be honest at some point we became like a family so we started our visa application we had to make an appointment at the embassy and to be honest it was very easy i didn't get any kind of problems and the organization was paying for everything they paid for our flight tickets they also paid for our visa and to be honest i didn't get any problems so after the visa application process we had to wait like for one month and then finally it was the day of coming to germany so to be honest it was a very long process it, it took us like i think eight months to come to germany and at some point i was thinking maybe it's not going to happen because it was such a long process from the application period to studying germany and also we had to wait for the visa and after the visa came out we had to wait again for like one month you know like it was such a long process but i am grateful for the whole process because we learned a lot in between we were like still in touch with the organization and the organization kept ensuring us that this trip is going to happen me coming to germany was very important to me because at that period i had lost my father and i was still in the grief period like i was crying every time at night before i sleep me coming to germany i I took it like a therapy for me. Like if I see maybe other cultures and get along with other people, like get into a new environment, I thought to myself it would be like a nice therapy. And to be honest, it really worked. So now I want to share with you guys the organization that brought me here in Germany. So as I told you before, there were two organizations which were working together. One was bringing Germans volunteers to Tanzania and one was bringing Tanzanian volunteers to Germany. So the organization that I was working with in Tanzania, it's called TYC, Tanzania Youth Coalition. It's a very nice organization to be honest. I am so happy that I met them. They are really nice people. They are organized. They are professional. The day that we were doing the interview, they also told us that, you know what, we are choosing people who have the qualities that we need and we are not looking to favor anybody so they were very fair in the interview and to be honest that is something that many places in tanzania they don't have but i don't know if they work with other countries i'm not sure but you can go and check out their facebook page they usually send a lot of young people to different kind of countries so that they can get some new skills so go and check them out but i'm not sure if they work with other countries other than Tanzania and the organization that received us here in Germany it's called the International Bund or oh, it's also a very nice organization it works with different countries it works with different kind of volunteers I remember when I came to Germany there were other countries like Cameroon there was India there was there was also Germans and uh yeah there was many countries there was chile some from some from south america they were they were working with very many volunteers so go and check them out they're called international bond you can go and check out also their website they might have also some opportunities for you guys so guys that's my story if you have any questions you can put them down below i hope i explained it properly because i'm really not good at storytelling so in my next video i want to share with you guys how to volunteer here in germany what is volunteering and how can you come here in germany to volunteer so stay tuned and watch out for my next video thank you very much i wish you all the best bye